Hello, people. Hello, people. Welcome back to another episode of Smash Fire, best mod pack you ever did see with me, your favorite monkey, Smash Keys. And me, Polar Bear for Fire. Favorite? No, you're not favorite anymore? Is there another po Polar Bear came out around? No. Oh, okay. Well, then you're the favorite Polar Bear for Porfiro. Look, I don't know too many Polar Bears, and I'm questioning well, I'm whether or not. Yeah, I'm questioning it now. I'm questioning it. Oh. Porfiro, oh. welcome back. What have we been doing? Hi. Nothing. Just, no, that's not nothing. Look what we did. We put all of our stuff in here. <laughs> all right. Look at it all. <laughs> we put oh, all okay. our stuff in here. We access all of our things. We drives because they filled up instantly. Mm. <laughs> Oof. Who is the best? Did you put your... Where's your armor? Is that your armor in there? I feel no. Like it, there's enchanted armor in there. Maybe we got it from a mob. Oof. Oof. Um, Oof. Well, Oof. we did enchant some armor and then just put it in that chest by the enchanting. Ooh. Right. That's mm -hmm. probably it then. Mm -hmm. Profile. So yeah. we're getting to like the maximum limit. So we're storing all this stuff on discs. And when we get to the end, like as we get to more end game, we're going to put more and more stuff on discs, like so much stuff. But then there's also this, this whole like putting machines in the wall thing didn't really work. No, it will. It, it will. We're we don't okay. have enough power to be questioning. We don't have <laughs> any power. Don't use the pulverizer. In fact, that's our problem is we're not we don't have enough power. So once I start piping, once Let's, I start wiring stuff oh. around correctly, then we can start uh -huh. putting stuff into the walls. But look at this profile. So the way the storage bus works is it, it takes up one channel on our network and we can have eight yep. channels on our network before we even start worrying about controllers or nothing. But look at this. So we can access a storage system, right? And there's actually mm -hmm. a cool storage thing from actually additions that we're going to mess around with. It's called a solid, it's called a large storage crate. It's a little expensive. It's it costs four empowered void blocks, right? So that's okay. four blocks of, Coal. Coal. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's actually not bad when you think about it. And then some wood and then a smaller one, which is more wood. And then a smaller one, which is more wood. Do you know how much inventory these things have? No. If you look at this alchemical chest. Yeah. Imagine it's a little bit taller. And mm -hmm. then you have a little button down here. Three pages. <laughs> That's what a large, large storage crate holds. Well, so I'm, cool. I'm thinking that might be even be better than discs. You know, any alternative to storage drawers, I'm all for. That brings me to my second thing, Pofaro. No. <laughs> storage drawers. <laughs> Do <laughs> So, how? <laughs> Can't you use caches from? whatever they're called from thermal yes let's see what, yes. whatever they're so, called what? profile is right let's check out a cache give me a second let me just let's just leave that you shook this. your head cash. <laughs> i said cash johnny cash so here's also a cache. do you know what else there is what's that the from industrial foregoing there is the black hole oh that's way um, better black hole unit black hole unit Black mm -hmm. hole tank? Wait, where's the black hole unit? This one? Black hole controller? So it's actually not bad. Just ender pearls and diamonds, and then it's it so lets cheap. you hold... Industrial foregoing is so cheap. Okay, so here's the thing. This yeah. thing, this drawer, will hold 32 stacks of something. You can slap upgrades what? on it, and then you can... Oh, you can actually slap... Somebody... There's been an update to drawers. You can slap more upgrades on it. <gasps> like way more. Shift click. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. You used to only be able to do five. So you can slap mm -hmm. upgrades on it, which at drawers will increase the upgrade capability like 30. So 32 times 32 times 32 times 32. So you can store like a hundred, like with just four, you can store a hundred thousand ish blocks in one drawer. Now you're probably going to even be able to do way more. And then the only reason why I like drawers is because then you can slap a void upgrade on it, which destroys excess items. So that's why we might use drawers just a little bit, just a little bit. But here's the thing, Pofaro, check this out. Let's see if this even works because it might not even let me. What am I doing? Like this, like this, and then like this. It's working. It's working. So no, it's... no, it's not. It's not working. No, wait, 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 wait. So here's the thing. Now this is registering part of our network, right? Happy as clams. But what's better than that? You know, you might be asking yourself, you might be asking yourself, Smash Keys, what? Oh, we don't have any sticks. 
those dicks really? <laughs> Who do you think you are? I guess I do have an act in my pocket. I don't know why. <laughs> Can't be bothered to look at my pockets. So, okay. So now the storage bus is touching the drawer. Or it could touch a cache. It can access the cache. Yeah. Right? Oh, a cache. It looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. So a cache, a Johnny cache, can hold 20,000 blocks. Which right off the and bat, it's pretty Can't good. you upgrade it too from that? You can upgrade it. You can I upgrade knew it. it. I'm so good at this game. All the way up to Resonant, which holds... 500,000. Okay, but I think the black hole unit could also hold like 2 million or something. I think the black hole unit, last in the last version of Industrial Foregoing, which was MFR, it could hold yeah. 2 point something billion. Oh. So, okay. yeah. So, so I don't think caches are drawer or drawers are in our, in our... Well, caches are better than drawers. I d disagree. Caches? I disagree. Do you know why I disagree? Because this is not going to work. Because you can connect it to one with the storage. Because thing. you can connect it to one with the storage thing. But, so, here's the thing. Each one of these costs a channel, right? So if we were going to store stuff in caches, we'd need one storage bus per each cache. So it's not really worth it, because then we'd need to really work on our wiring. But, well, I might, well, I mean, it's just... It's just more complicated. How many caches to do you know, really need? At five hundred thousand blocks, not that many. But with a deep, the the black Especially hole storage, with all your blocks being stored as M EMC. Yeah, that's true. We could yeah. probably do caches. We could do caches. <laughs> the only thing I could think of, we're going to use drawers for Porphyro. No. 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 We got it. We got it. It's got to be done. No. The only thing we're going to use drawers for Porphyro. Is um I don't know let's say yeah maybe glowstone and then maybe like some iron. So right now our block yeah check it out just shush shush your face, shush it shush it up. Glowstone there you go take that out perfect so we can actually do that thank you and then put the iron put the iron here <clears throat> perfect. So the only reason why we'd use glow we'd use drawers profile was because of this. Now when you look up iron what did you just do iron. Now it's holding it. Anything. It's hold. It's keeping it as a block, ingots and nuggets all at once. Same thing oh, with glow so, so. so we might we might just for this, just for this, we're gonna have just drawers to keep it into kind of like the. We'll have a Schrodinger's room. I'll even hide it. I'll even put it deep, deep underground so you don't have to see it, Porfire, because I know you're a stickler for. Just hate well, you always think this. And then you're like, wait, it's broken. I have to go try and fix it. And then it's just, it always breaks on you. It always because, something goes wrong. Because I'm using it as the primary storage system. We're not doing that anymore. We're just using it as a storage system for just these things. For primarily those things. For primarily these things, that, which aren't the primary use of it. <laughs> so, I want to see if we can use it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we're at about six. Can we do, but, okay, let's but, do... Let's do another import. No. Import. Hold your butt, Porfiro. Do you know butt. what you always say about storage, my Steve? What's that? It's got to be done? Or sorting? Yeah. It's got to be done. It must be done. Right? Has to be done. Okay, yeah. here's the thing, Porfiro. So I was thinking, while we're here, before we start messing around with anything else, let's make ourselves one of these bad boys. Ooh, boy. I think it's a diamond and then an ender pouch. Perfect. Oh, I need some more blaze rods. Poor fire. We only have four. I guess we probably have a whole bunch in the other dimension. And then like this. Perfect. Here you go, Poviro. Here's an ender pouch. Thanks. And here's, the, here's an ender pouch for me inventory. too. Don't use it. Okay, because everybody... Can you see Matt? Can you see that? Isn't everybody going to be able to can use you, white, yeah, white, white yeah, on yeah, the Just focus. Yeah, I, can, I can see the drawer. Perfect. That's not what we want. So, if we slap the ender chest here. So, this is the public network. So, by me putting a diamond on this. Thanks. So we could, like, Thank you. We could, we yeah, could. Here. Let's back up. Now, that should be my personal network. Can you see... Can you open up this chest and see my diamond? Or can you see anything in there? I see the drawer. Okay, perfect. Let's make... Oh, So I want to test this a little bit. 
So anyway, regardless. Is there anything in there? Okay, so let me, I'll be right back. Let me go to the mine because I need another blaze rod. Oh, here, give me your pouch for a second then. Oh, okay, so my ender pouch says smash keys, white, 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 and your ender pouch just says white, white, white. Okay. Oh. oh. So I have my, so I have my own network. So here you go. So you try, you place the ender chest down with a diamond on the clicker. On the clicker. He's in mine. Okay. Now I have to like link it to the chest then? Well, no, uh, regardless, regardless. So this one says yours. Oh, it does say your name. Oh, okay, so up in the- Yeah, I have, to, up... I have to see, this one shows nothing still. My ender pouch? Because it's linked to the to public to white, here. white, white. Yeah, so now yeah. you'll link it to that one. Shift right click. Wait. Uh. Now it's linked. Yeah. So now if you look at your pouch, it should say Pofiro white. It's Pofiro on, on the- Yeah. And when you look into a chest, in the top right hand corner, it says Porphyro. Yeah, that's that's what it says on my ender pouch too. Yeah, beautiful. Lovely. I don't know where you're seeing this. Oh, Very oh, yeah, it's kind of a weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you might as well. So link up. You're gonna shut down. No, you're good to go. So link your ender pouch to my ender chest. Smash keys, white, white, white. And now you yep. can access. You can dump stuff into this thing, and then it'll go into our network. Albeit very slowly for right now. And then once we work on some speed things, then it'll go a little bit faster. Beautiful. So that's kind of cool. So it only costs a diamond to make your network untouchable. Can we get on to what we're going to do this yeah, episode? My main thing for this episode was I was going to show like, oh, look, like we don't have enough network power. So basically, if I look at, I think it's the controller. Oh, I don't have a controller. Oh. Well, once I have a control, I'll be able to see this, how much power my network is using, because currently it's using one, two, three, four, and then cables. So currently we're not quite making enough power. The, the energy cell is staying right where it is. The energy cell is staying right where it is. Yeah, and this third... It's just, it's not going up. It was going up before, think, but it's not even, it's not going up or down now. Well, I think because the dense energy cell is going to fill up eventually. Because I have a, I have an AE energy cell over here. Oh. Sucking up AE uh -huh. power. Just, just so, okay. just because. Okay. But what we want to do is work on new power profile. So I'm thinking we do some industrial. Finally. Well, hey, look, you can cut all that if you want. That's fine. It's not going to hurt my feelings, man. So we want to do some industrial foregoing profile. More specifically, we want to make ourselves a uh, a um, so we need plastic. We need plastic for like crafting anything industrial foregoing, right? Yeah. So we need then a tree fluid extractor. Ooh, I got that. I got that tree. Okay, so here's what I wanted to do. And I a latex to make... processing unit. So I wanted to make one sec. I wanted to make a bioreactor. Yes. Because then that, what that'll do is you can actually read it. When provided with power and biomaterials will produce biofuel. It'll create 1.44 buckets of biofuel. And then what we want is a biofuel yeah. generator. And again, pretty cheap too. Produce a bucket of biofuel will produce 160 RF a tick. About 28 generators can run from one bioreactor. So right off the bat, boof, that's awesome. But the problem is we need plastic. So we need, mm -hmm. so we need dry rubber. So we need mm -hmm. tiny dry rubber, which means we need a latex processing unit. And then what did you say? Liquid latex? We need the tree fluid extractor. So tree fluid extractor, can I do this? no so you have it you 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 figured it out right so tree fluid extractor so i need some iron gears some furnaces and some stone problem is iron gears broken can't make an iron gear where's my iron how do we not 
Well, the crafting recipe is shared by something from Rustic, I think. Did you use all that iron? I didn't use anything. Oh, because you know what? Because this is not a higher priority. I get it. So when I pull... Oh, did something wrong happen with the first doors? Hmm. Why do you have to be just such a jerk butt? See, when you do an iron gear, the recipe's not right. So what you could do is make a compactor, which actually might be the best. Yeah, we'll do a compactor. We'll make this machine later. Or you can do tinkers, which is what I did. Melted it down and made a gear cast. Or you can just... And I think there's a there's a forestry workbench that lets you sort bet between yeah, like crafting any, recipes. Exactly. A any, like, just problems. Okay, so I got a bunch of iron gears. Let's throw these in. Okay. So we need a tree fluid extractor. Bam. Mm -hmm. Now what else? A latex processing unit. A latex processing unit. Mm-hmm. Machine frame, probably need a machine frame. Dang it. So this is the alternative to MFR rubber, where you used to have to have rubber trees, which Smash Keys loved. He loved those rubber trees. The MFR ones? Yeah, they're the best. Yeah. Then they took they them away. They don't exist anymore. Yeah, they took them away from me. Made me sad. Latex processing unit, bam. What okay. else? I guess we probably need power. That's hey? it for now. Yeah, just... just Maybe some... Well, yeah, I'll just we do a coal. I think I'll do a coal generator. Power. What's that? Don't worry. Well, we'll just use a generator for now. Eventually, I think the best way for us to transfer power will be either thermal expansion or mechanism. Because thermal expansion has power piping. Yeah, and mechanism has power piping. Okay, so we got a latex processing unit and a okay, tree. Put it down. Put it down somewhere. Okay, wait, here. hold on. Let me just. Okay, what am I doing with it? Just put it right down right here? Sure. And give it some power. All right, then I'm going to put a log I in got front. the wrong one. No, oh, I hate this one. I hate it so much. It's not the right one. Oh, it doesn't need power. Really? This guy doesn't. The latex processing unit might, but there you go. Oh. Fluid latex. Cool. And then I don't know how we get it out of here. Um, it probably dumps straight into it. It doesn't. So we need some thermal pipe. Oh, the, 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 if you click um, a bucket? fluid containers, and then there's there's a little um, like a bucket. Yeah, this is different. We haven't used this before. Um, so put, once we get a thousand little buckets, you see how it says latex tank, and then it says fluid containers. Yeah. Click on fluid containers. Oh, oh, that's nice. It, okay, mm -hmm. so then we so said we can do this. So I want it to go out the back. So we want latex to come in where, right? So the latex tank is is gray. And then you. And I'll get oh, out of there. Whoa. And then we want fluid containers to come in from the left. Uh, latex tank? Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, this is difficult. So we want latex to come in on that side. Are you going to work? Back? Not really exporting. Maybe it's a piping thing. We want the latex. Oh, yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. The back, and then here, the latex will be going... Into the left. To the left. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be going. It might be just a piping Always thing. Always active... Hmm. It's fine. It's not going to work. It's fine. It, it might just have to be done with a piping. Connected got, with the pipe. Exactly. Yeah. So once the tree fluid extractor gets a thousand millibuckets of latex, it'll probably just dump right into that bucket, which means we can just move this over here. I'm so excited to pipe our base up, Pavaro. Like, just so excited. <laughs> like, you've never you've never seen me something more excited. And then what should we use for water for that thing? We could use from... Extra utilities, the what is it called? Come on, come on, come on, you know. Water node? Where was the aqueous accumulator from? Thermal. Oh, so we could do that too. Yeah. 
But no, but there's the uh, I think it requires reservoir. power That's what now. It is. Reservoir. Res. I mean, we could also just use res a bucket, a bucket of water I for now. I I can't spell reservoir. Our uh, re reservoir. Water. I think probably not. I, I don't. Is I don't. it not in here? Is that from a mod we don't have? I don't know. So it looks like it takes one log for one mill bucket or one bucket. So we want dry rubber. So we need tiny dry rubber. Come on. We just need a little bit more. So maybe we'll be right back after we get a bucket of this stuff in two minutes. Sure. It's fine. Okay. I got it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry. I got it. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Look, we got tiny dry rubber. Aww. <laughs> oh. So much water. <laughs> No. And we can make one dry rubber out of it. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'll get my bucket. No, it's fine. I got it. You're really, you're really stressing out over okay, there. Okay, I got it. Well, it's taking so long. Oh, it's so slow. Okay. And then, so, why is it so far away? It's the worst. It's just the worst. <laughs> ah! I'm winning. Welcome to the Bucket Championship 2018. Okay, it's, it's out of latex now, so... <laughs> For frick's sakes. <laughs> what are you doing over here, buddy? <laughs> oh, it's the worst! Okay, but we can make plastic now, right? Nope. Did we can make one dry rubber. Yeah. And then... Oh, yeah, that's all we need to do. Don't worry, I got it, I got it. So we're just going to cheaty, cheat, cheat this up. One plastic, one dry rubber, please. Followed by one piece of plastic, if you wouldn't mind. Beautiful. <laughs> like... huh, it's really slow. It's the longest spot. Come on, what am I supposed to do? Got I got scared for a second. I was like, was I not listening? Is he waiting for an answer from me? So a bioreactor and a biofuel. I'm sure I knew what was going on. The bioreactor produces power. So we want to make that. So can we do it? No. So we need a fermented spider eye. Do we have sugar? We do. So we only need one of these. So we're good. Poison, right? What's that? The bioreactor, it makes you sick? No, that's the sludge reactor. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about that. So we need two bricks. Do we have clay? We do. Do we have... Did I teach you how to make bricks? Please tell me I don't know how to make bricks. Nope. Clay. Beautiful. And then beautiful. Oh my god, everything just cooks. <laughs> Everything's just so slow. That's what happens when everything you get is so immediate. Well, look, I am just... Can you imagine if you had to wait for a dial-up no, connection? Can't do it. Can't do it. I would die. I would literally, <laughs> literally die. <laughs> You're so dramatic. <laughs> I would literally die. What am I missing? Furnace. Furnace? <laughs> Furnace. <laughs> Biofuel reactor. There you go. Beautiful. So now, Poviro, here's the big old big thing. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so here's the thing, Poviro. We need some seeds. Do we some have seeds. seeds? Well, I don't know. So wheat seeds? Yeah, we yeah, have. Yeah. So we them. have a we have a well, we need a bunch of stuff. Ideally, we want nine things. Nine different things. Yeah. yeah. So let's yeah. active with a redstone signal, so I can. Wait. Which one's which? Well, this is the generator. This is what will take biofuel. We need. There you go. Active with signal. Oh, it only takes stacks of stuff at a time. Okay, okay, okay. So we need we need a bunch of different stuff in there. Can you stop what you're doing? Stop. There we go. Seed. So what do we got? We got 
We should get like, oh, melon seeds. Perfect. Do we have pumpkin seeds, Profile? I don't think so. Do we have a pumpkin? <gasps> we don't. Oh, no. Uh, what are we going to do? Sapling, I guess? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what we need. Let's just do saplings. Give me them all. That's too many. That's fine. Okay, two seconds. Let me let me get this prepped. Did you try the pineapples? No, I have not. Okay. Okay, here, and let me try. Let's try some raspberries. No pineapples. Pans. Ink sacks work. Oh, dyes work. Raspberries? Raspberries? No. No? Pam's doesn't work. Okay, so several things don't work. That's fine. But I thought that... Uh, yeah, that's funny. Because I thought that Pam's did work because I thought the higher... Oh, no, that's the culinary generator. Never mind. Yeah, you can do all the dyes as well. Oh, that might be the best way to do it then. Mm-hmm. Like this. So what we want is we want to have a place for our fuel. So let's slap that there. Let's. We're going to actually move... Let me let me actually use this energy cell for a second. A second. We want to go like this. We want to export. So it's getting power. It has stuff. Okay. Mm hmm So where does the output go? Energy items. Energy. What what's the difference? Output, it must be fluid containers, right? Let's see if this works. Let's just flip the switch and see what happens. So it is working. Are you going to make me biofuel, girl? Oof. <gasps> it's not going anywhere. So fluid container. Nope. It 100% hates it. That's fine, though. I mean, I could just like, can I... You do that. So I'm now, sure you can pipe it. No, yeah, of course, of course. And then this bad boy is going to make power. A lot of power. 100, 160R of a tick. Pretty, pretty okay. Yeah. Are you kidding me? For some, for some green power right now. Yeah, 100% green. Profile. We, I don't know if you know this, but we're basically just like what I would imagine the Atlanteans were like peaceful and conscious of nature yeah, do, you, do you think they eat fish oh yeah we need a fishery we need to fish yeah. the oceans dry is what they I, they would say that's what they would say yeah. they would say hey so maybe oh no what, you what? oh it's so much power what what would they say so they wait eat? let's look at power let's look oh, oh. oh gosh. So how, how are we going to do this? So we need to pipe things around. I think mm -hmm. thermal might be the best at the moment, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we need two things. We need to pipe. We need a bunch of things. One is we need to transfer power around. So just lead and glass. Oh, that's pretty cheap. And we can increase it. We can increase it to hardened, which we should be able to do no problem. Perfect. So hardened flux duct. We need to, and then I think the next step is a little bit outside of our range. Yeah, so we need to, so we can do the lower tier stuff pretty easy. So we can do, we can pipe items around. Can we pipe fluids around? Oh, we can do two. That's kind of cool. Hold on, hold your butt, the poor arrow. Hold your butt. Do this. Oh, do we have any more copper? Why don't we just, I can't wait to figure this stuff out. Oh, poor arrow, put, put another piece of wood in front of that uh, thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay, it's fine. Copper. Perfect. Yeah, my life perfect and then I cover. there is a block placer and block breaker from industrial foregoing as well mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. items and fluid that's really all we need so and we have power we right. have power so that's the power one but then we can increase the power transfer by doing that one that looks pretty cool then we have two different types of fluids one we have this fluid which is opaque and then this one, which is you see through, which I really like. I mm -hmm. like them. I like them both. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to do this. We need to have this stuff piping out of this one into that one. So how do I remember why I loved Ender IO so much? 
<laughs> because we, we need a servo. Yep. 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 There we go. <laughs> There's a servo for you. In fact, let's But isn't a... this great? It's great. You get to look at all the new mods. And I guess. Not, you get to use all these mods that you never would have used because you just would have used Ender I.O. You, you know what, Pavaro? You're 100% I got right. a positive outlook on life. You just, you're just more positive well, than... Well, I mean, on Minecraft. Let's just... <laughs> real life i hate everything can i get up in here so if i just do that so it just automatically pulls out and then this bad boy mm -hmm. we want to automatically oh, pull out as well which it's not oh because this one's getting a redstone signal yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, 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 yeah. uh redstone ignored there oh, we go yeah. there we go oh ignored profile we have the beginnings of some power. Look at that beautiful thing. So now we got to try, we have to automate the making of dyes or tree saplings or seeds or something. Which honestly, like. We could figure it out. Yeah. Some of these are actually a little bit better than others. Like, okay, so saplings, I think I might want to go with dye. So for each one dye, it only costs 16 EMC. So that alone, that's our power. We don't have to do it. <laughs> we ha we could do it. Look, we can make all the dyes through the plants. Plants. Oh, here we can do as that. Well. Here we can so, do that. Regardless I of mean, how we get it, regardless of how we get it, <laughs> we can make biofuel now. <laughs> and at the rate this goes, it said. So this thing said it could handle about twenty-eight of these things. One of these can one, handle... one of a bioreactor oh. going at full power. Well, that's what it says. That's crazy. So a bioreactor. We're oh. just gonna have to have a room of bioreactors. See, a bioreactor, when provided with power and biomaterials, will produce biofuel. Each item will increase the efficiency of all the items by ten mil buckets and a maximum efficiency. The reactor. Whoa. Each uh, the maximum efficiency. The reactor will produce. 114 40 mil buckets consuming nine different items. So bioreactor. And then what was the other one? Biofuel generator. Biofuel generator produces power when provided with biofuel. A bucket of biofuel will produce 160 hours of a tick. About 28 generators can run from one bioreactor. Brilliant beautiful profile but i think that's going to be the end of the episode it so sure I, should i think be. we're going yep. to do a little bit of automation but besides that i think i think we're good to go we're going to maybe stock up on a little bit of power so then next episode we are good to go Oof. Ooh, atlantis oh thank you guys for watching thanks Ooh. for watching atlantis a completely 100 percent biodegradable bio neutral <laughs> base safe for the ocean safe for the ocean and safe for your ingestion <laughs> profile say goodbye nice people Bye, people. Goodbye, people.